Okay guys, welcome to a different type of video that I normally am not making, but like I said, this channel has a little bit of a new overhaul to it. I'm going to try to get a new banner and everything up, and all that type of stuff, so anyway, we're just going to get right to the video here. This is the top five, or not, I wouldn't say top five, but top five albums that I think are suitable for beginners who are looking to get into metal, um, and for the record, I did not include... Motorhead, Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, or Black Sabbath, and that's only because I'm a I'm a huge metalhead, as you guys know. I I didn't start listening to all this stuff because of Stranger Things, and a lot of people have now. But um, I don't know. It's just like these these albums that I've chose. I would think that uh, they're more a commercial sound, so they're easy to listen to. What I mean by that is there's no like screaming. There's no like crazy crazy solos that'll melt your face off. There, It isn't anything that's too aggressive that will turn you off to the genre. I think that there's a lot of easy listening in these albums that I've chosen. So that's the only reason why, because Motorhead, a lot of, like a lot of the Motorhead and the bands that I named, like a lot of the stuff, it's not, it's commercial, but to me, it's just that these ones stand out a little more. So we're just going to get right into it. And they're in alphabetical order because that's just how they are on my shelf. So first, we're going to go to Disturbed, and that is 10,000 Fists. This album is awesome. This has songs. This has um, Stricken is one of my favorites on here. I'm Alive, uh, Land of Confusion, and Sacred Lie. Those are, those are songs that really stand out to me on this album. But the whole thing, you can listen to and be like, oh my god, I'm, I'm really taken into this. And Stricken, especially if you're my age, a lot of you guys have heard on Guitar Hero 3. That's where I first heard stricken and it was my it's been my favorite song since so um if you're really looking to get into metal i'm trying to get into because there there's a window there i'm just trying to get the best there we go right by the microphone so yeah disturbed Ten Thousand fist is definitely one that you guys want to check out if you're looking to get into the metal scene a lot of people have listened to disturbed because it's actually again like i said commercial a lot of people listen to a lot of people have heard of disturbed and just on basic radio because they just they make basic radio and their metal is not too hard. It's not it's aggressive, but it's not too aggressive where people just will be turned off by it. So Ten Thousand Fists definitely check that out. It is um, one of my favorite Disturbed albums, probably my favorite Disturbed album. Uh, so the next one is when we get into the more heavier bands or the more notable bands. This is Iron Maiden's Number of the Beast. This is a classic. If this this makes this will probably make other videos too but if you if you are looking to get into metal you need to own number of the beast you have to own it it is a must for any metal heads and cd collectors this album is basically basically flawless from top to bottom it's one of my favorite ones for sure it has children of the damned the prisoner 22 acacia avenue number of the beast run to the hills and hollow be thy name Again, this is another one where the whole album is flawless top to bottom. Um, I've heard Run to the Hills and Number of the Beast on regular radio. I've heard it on Sirius XM. But the fact that it was on regular radio means that, again, it's commercial, has an easy-to-listen-to sound. You could probably get away with playing Iron Maiden, early Iron Maiden, in bars, and people wouldn't leave. Um, I really think that the Iron Maiden is a very easy to listen to metal band and if you're looking to get into metal especially for people who are curious but don't want to get into like the children of bodom the testament the pantera things like that this is a definite must and if and even if you are a hard metal head and you don't have this album yet for some reason you haven't heard of it buy it if you see it buy it doesn't matter what the price tag is buy it it's an amazing album so this is iron maiden number of the beast for number two they're not in any specific order either um they're actually in alphabetical like i said for uh when they were on my shelf so the next one, so now we're getting into more, like I mentioned, after Disturbed, these are the more notable albums and bands that you guys will know. So the next one is Judas Priest, British Steel. I'm actually wearing a Judas Priest shirt. Um, I didn't pick Painkiller, which this is the shirt. This is the Painkiller shirt. I didn't choose this one. I didn't choose that one because it's a little more aggressive, and it might turn a couple people off. But this British Steel is much more listen listenable, and Breaking the Law I've heard on regular radio, and I've heard Living After Midnight on regular radio. So that tells you something right there of how easy it is to listen to. I've heard Breaking the Law actually played in a bar and it got a lot of good reception. 
Uh, I actually seen, uh, like I, and it's also Iron Maiden, um, Judas Priest, and the next two bands that I'm going to be showing, I actually seen all live, and these guys kill it live. These guys are amazing live. If you ever get the chance to see Judas Priest, definitely go and see them live because it's a, it's a show you'll never forget. I keep forgetting to get in front of my mic here. Uh, but again, it has Breaking the Law. Grinder's a good one. Living After Midnight is a classic. And You Don't Have to Be Old to Be Wise, I think, is one that people a lot of people sleep on. It's it's a really commercial song. It's very It's very easy to listen to when it comes to, again, it's not aggressive. It's just, same with Living After Midnight, and the fact that they're listed back-to-back uh, -back on this album, uh, I think that's pretty cool, because it's, uh, it's, they're, they're softer songs, but they're still hard-hitting, and they're really awesome to listen to. So British Steel is, and again, this is another one that all metalheads need to own. If you don't have it, go out and buy it now. So it's Judas Priest Breaking, or Judas Priest Breaking the Law. Judas Priest, British Steel. I actually have the shirt of this, too. Uh, so now we get into the two, the two juggernauts two of the big four so i chose megadeth peace sells but who's buying this is one of my favorite albums it's probably and it's one of my favorite megadeth albums probably one of my top five megadeth albums um uh, this one i had to i had to i had to scratch to find this and um like same with like these two i actually found at a um old like a cd shop that i go to that people just go in and sell their cds and so i had to look for this one for a long time a lot of these CDs I've been trying to collect for over 10 years, and I'm finally getting lucky finding them, but I've had this one for a little, a minute. But, um, Peace Sells, but who's buying? If you, you've heard Peace Sells, I think it was one of the NHL games, Peace Sells was on it, and Crush em by Megadeth, which isn't on this album, but I'm just saying how Megadeth's kind of branching out in the, um, more mainstream type with a couple of songs. But Crush em, I think, is used at uh, hockey games a lot, and, uh, Peace Sells is too. But this this album right here, just 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 listen to this lineup. For those of you who know, obviously the album, it's just like Wake Up Dead, The Conjuring, Peace Cells, Devil's Island, and Good Morning Black Friday. But I I, I would consider the first four are really the like the consider considering that they're back to back, considering that they didn't put out like Wake Up Dead, Bad Omen, then The Conjuring. The fact that they put all their like craziest songs on the first four tracks really says something about this album. I should just use my other hand, shouldn't I? Um, but this album, you guys will love if you're, if you're saying, oh, all that Megadeth, like I heard a lot of their newer stuff, but this, this stuff, it, it's hard hitting, but it's soft, um, for when it comes to what people talk metal, like usually they just think Slayer and, uh, Pantera and all that stuff. That stuff's a little more, that stuff's way more aggressive, I would say, than Megadeth is. Uh, but Megadeth has a lot of aggressive guitar stuff, a lot of aggressive instruments, but the vocals are very easy to understand and things like that. But uh, The Conjuring and Devil's Island and Peace Cells, I would say, are the three really standout songs of this album. Uh, Devil's Island is crazy. I actually wrote a song that's uh, inspir inspired by Devil's Island. And Peace Cells, that's just an amazing song. I just got back from the Megadeth concert, actually, the big... Um, Metal Tour of the Year. They played Peace Cells live. It was incredible. But um, Peace Cells Alone, again, is the title of the uh, record that Peace Cells will sell you on this album. Like, if a lot of these albums, too, you can just listen to on YouTube. And then if you can, just go out and buy it. That's what I do. Like, I'll listen to a band and then I'll go out and buy the album. Like, oh, you can just download it. No, no, no. I want to support the artist full. So, Megadeth, Peace Cells, but who's buying? An absolute must also if you're collecting metal albums. So this, British Steel, and Number of the Beast are like three of the albums that I would say you have to own if you're a metalhead. And then the final one, who again I've also seen live, is Metallica, Kill 'Em All. Obviously, right? You'd think it was Master of Puppets, wouldn't you? No. Master of Puppets is a little more, I would say, hard-hitting than this one. Um, this one is the first Metallica album, and I would say it's a definite for people who are looking to get into the genre because it starts off heavy, hit the lights. It starts off slow, but then it gets into a fast song. Um, James Hetfield's lyrics went back in the day when he was young. He he just didn't give a shit, and he hit you with everything that he had. Uh, this is one of my favorite albums, definitely. It'll always be one of my favorite albums. I actually prefer it over Master of Puppets, believe it or not. Uh, but it has it has the first, it has the original Megadeth, uh, Megadeth the original Metallica lineup of uh, 
well, on a couple of songs. It had um Dave's contributions in a couple of the songs on the album. But um, I would say the classic lineup just because of Cliff. So it had Kirk Hammett, Cliff, Lars, and James. And then a couple of songs that were written by Dave that they actually gave him credit for, which I thought that was pretty cool. And um, the solos on it are amazing. The drum work is fantastic. Everything fits on this album. If you want basically a perfect metal album, I would consider this to be one of them. You, you can't take any piece off of this, out of out of this, out of these songs, and it would sound the same. Like you couldn't. Like Cliff was the Steve Harris of Metallica, and that's a bold statement. But he really was. Like if you take the bass fills out of Kill 'Em All, Ride the Lightning, and uh, Master of Puppets, I don't think they would have sounded the same at all. Um. Whiplash is one of my favorite tracks on here. I think it's very underrated. Uh, Four Horsemen is an amazing song. You have Jump in the Fire, which is a damn good song as well. And then you have Seek and Destroy and No Remorse. Like this, this song is this this album is flawless. I have to say, even with the uh, the anesthesia pulling teeth, the bass solo they included a bass solo on here. And but if you look at the tracks, Hit the Lights, Four Horsemen, Motor Breath, Jump in the Fire. Anesthesia, Pulling Teeth, Whiplash, Phantom Lord, No Remorse, Seek and Destroy, and Metal Militia. Every song on this album you will like if you're looking to get into metal. There's no doubt that even if you know this album and you still don't have it, you need to go out and get yourself this album. Like I have Metallica's, I have all of Metallica's discography, all of Megadeth's, Disturbed, all that, and this album really stands out. It still holds up to this very day. I don't even think this is the remastered one either. I think this is the original. It doesn't say that it's remastered, so I think I actually got lucky. I actually got this at the CD place that I had mentioned. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is the original pressing, too. Which is probably why I love it so much. So if you can, also get the original pressing. It usually says, like, remastered, like, right here. Like, there will be... See if there's any... Like, let's see how the CD right here... Like, see how it has enhanced CD up there? Which I fucking hate. Uh, it'll usually have it in the jewel cover right there that uh, it's remastered and whatnot. But uh, if you can find it where it's just like this, where it's just black, or it doesn't say remastered anywhere on the cover there, perfect. Get it, because it's the best sound. It's their original sound. I'm, I'm a big stickler for original sound, so I'll probably have those names of the bands in case you guys missed it or you're just listening to it, of the bands that I've listed for the, I would say, five albums to get into metal if you're a beginner and you're not sure what to listen to. Um... And that was it, guys. So I might have a intermediate or like a more advanced, and I'm gonna have like for pure metalheads. These are the albums you need. It'll probably feature a lot of those bands that I had already shown. It's probably gonna have some different ones, but I'll try to branch out. And uh, that vest back there, I might do a video on that too. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I covered everything nicely. I hope I wasn't too redundant. I don't really have a lot to say about that when it comes to video form. But uh, if you were talking to me in person then and you knew music, then I could really get in depth with a lot of these songs, like with terms that you would understand. That's the reason why I was kind of shortened to the point, because a lot of the terms a lot of people don't understand, and it's just like I don't want to confuse you guys. So anyway, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be coming out with a lot more of these types of videos. Hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe if you liked the video also. And um, yeah, peace, guys.